Hello everybody and I am back today with another tutorial video. So this video is going to be how to get a titan. This is probably going to be a very short video unless I start talking about something completely random which could easily happen because it does happen a lot. <laughs> so uh, there are pretty much just two ways. One is uh, to buy them with gems which would you would uh, need 500 gems or you can also um, collect titan runes, and uh, for me, that is uh, just, so let's just call it impossible. <laughs> so let's just start with the first option, buying them, which is the only pretty much option for me. So titans cost 500 gems, but of course I do recommend buying things on sale. So right now there's a sale uh, with a Thunder Drum, but probably when this video is going to be here, it's going to be like, so yeah, I, it's a long story. I, I wanted to record more videos now so I can relax later. So I'm probably going to be very late and this is probably going to be ancient. I mean, this Thunder Drum sale, <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's just um, let the game load like, uh, you know, that's a nice time when it crashed two times. Ooh, what is this? Gronsico? What? I didn't see this yet. What the? Ew, I, I hate it. I don't hate this, but I don't like it either. So yeah, you can see on sale. Also, let me level a bill. What the hell is this? Death song. Flame. Flame. What? Flame whipper. Oh, an anniversary? What? It's free? Okay. Sure. I'll take it if it's free. <laughs> Thank you so much. What is this? Ew, this is the ugliest monstrosity I have ever seen. This is absolutely disgusting and ugly. <laughs> I hate it so much. Yeah, I don't hate this one, actually. But, I mean, it's just because it's a death song. So, uh, I, yes, I'm getting out of talk topic. This is exactly what was going to happen. So, you have this Titan bundle. So, a Thunder Drum usually costs, I'm pretty sure... Wait, title class. It usually costs 200. So, technically, um, you are going to be saving... Wait, 200... Hmm... Yes, wait a second. This thing is a complete and absolute scam. This is a scam. What the hell is this? Disgusting. School of Dragons. You you disgust me right now. Look at this. Look at this price. So it's 800 gems. A normal Thunder Drum costs 200 gems uh, for members. Now I'm talking about uh, for, uh, how it is for the members. And um, the Titan Age Up costs 500 gems. And now suddenly you... It's 800? What, what the hell is this? This is a scam. You're paying 100 more gems. I'm... School of Dragons, you right now disgust me. Like, what is this? What is this? I was about to say like, oh, you should buy them on sales because then they're cheaper. But no, this is literally 100 gems more expensive. I can't believe it. And I, I put my money into this game. I cannot believe this. I am absolutely disgusted. Oh, I thought this video was going to be short, but I guess I was wrong. So, um... If there's a good sale, you know, when you actually save up gems and not lose 100 gems just because you buy a bundle and it will be just easier to buy a separate dragon and a separate titan age up. Oh my god. Okay, I... Uh, no, no. School of Dragons, no. I was just about to say, like, oh my god, they're go doing so good. They put all the eggs 200 gems less. Go, School of Dragons. But no, it was all a distraction from what it actually is, and it's just a big scam. Oh my god, I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. This is absolutely disgusting. So, uh, what I was saying is, uh, b you can also buy a Titan Age Up, and you can, of course, uh, just go here and just buy it 
immediately. So you would click this and it you would need to pay for 500 gems, which is uh, understandable. Or you can just have a ticket which you would need to buy, but do not buy, I guess, on sales because sales usually mean saving up money. But in School of Dragons, sales means, oh, want to spend more money than you would normally? Yes, everybody loves that. Who doesn't love to spend so much gems? So, another option that is uh, the one that I said that was completely impossible. Why are the... Wait, give me a moment. I'm getting so distracted. Why are the trees missing? Oh, okay, they are here. Good. I thought they were missing. Uh, so, where was I going? Here. So, now you can go um, in your stables. And there is actually, like, a few stable quests that give you titan runes. Which... How much would you need? Give me a moment. I don't remember exactly how much titan runes would you need. I I'm gonna go there and see, but... Anyways, to get only five, you would need to finish this. So let's see how strong dragons would you need. Probably a titan, so I'm gonna go with this. A normal dragon barely gives you anything. Let's go with another titan. Um, usually here, no, no, also bad. This, this titan really gives as much as a normal dragon, or maybe not, I don't know. Okay, just let's find some gas dragons, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, but this these are pretty much impossible to do. And it's only for five titan runes, and your dragon would need to be out there for a long time. I'm not good with math, so I can't... Um, I don't know how many days this is, and um, but I'm just gonna replace that, I hate it. It's just absolutely disgusting. But, um, yeah, that is another way. Let's now go to the Titan Island. If you didn't know what that is, it is, uh, it is here. Uh, that is an island that you can come to age up your dragon, but you can do it pretty much anywhere if you have a ticket. Um, or if you want to just buy it, which is the reasonable way to go. But if you have Titan runes and somehow you probably spent two years or maybe even more, on collecting them and finally want to use them, you're gonna have to go to this island. It is a nice island, it is nothing special. I think it's too dark, and then when you choose the colors for your dragons, that I had problems with this. So when you come here, it's very dark. So when you choose the colors for your dragon, it's gonna be way darker. And when, then when you come, you're gonna be like, wait, why are these colors so dark? I wanted it to be lighter. Or is it? Yeah, I don't know. Just the lighting is messed up and this shouldn't be there. So if you click here, let's see how many would you need. Yeah, you would need 50. And uh, that is... Uh, I showed you how much you... And these quests are so freaking rare. Like, it's... This one actually came by accident. Like, I didn't even know. Like, I didn't even try to get that quest. Uh, but, like, chances of getting even, like, that one for, like, two Titan Roos you would need to just exchange, change, change, change those stable quests like a maniac just to get like probably one for like two titan runes. So yeah, I do not recommend this. I don't think how, I don't see how anybody except a hacker would be able to get these. If you ever got them, then definitely comment and <laughs> congratulations. So yeah, that is also another thing. If you uh, go with a dragon that cannot uh, have a titan, let's just find somebody. <coughs> um, for some reason, a hobgobbler from that you get from a quest, you know, um, uh, from that expansion, for some reason does not work. But yeah, for a dragon that does not work, you're gonna get this. So you're gonna be able to see all the titans. There's actually plenty of them to choose from, that's for sure. And that is very interesting, because why not? Some of them for me are absolutely ugly. Hobgobber, see, it is all messed up, because the quest Hobgobber, for some reason, is completely messed up. The colors are completely messed up. It's completely glitched out. Like, please, fix that. I, I want to my Hobgobber to be a Titan, but I can't. Molly, I was playing so much with her, and then she just glitched out, and I don't want to play with her anymore. I loved her so much, and now she's just a very big glitch. It's sad. It's it, it's very sad. And then, when you finally get a Titan, it's gonna be like this. 
So when you get a Titan, I'm pretty sure you get instantly on level 20, which is nice, nice of them. That they at least give you something in return for your 500 gems, which is a lot of gems, if I do say so myself. So yeah, some Titans are more impressive than the other. Dr the Dromelian Titan is just a disgrace, so I didn't get it, because it pretty much just gives you an option to color those scales on the neck, and that's it. That's pretty much it. It's not even bigger, it's not faster, it's not nothing. It's just dumb, and it's just stupid, and... I'm so mad at School of Dragons right now, and this dragon is freaking glitched, and you can see one wing and the other, and I'm so, I'm so upset right now. Like, I can't. I can't with this game. I was just about to- I was thinking that this game was finally learning from its mistakes, but no. Then it made hybrids completely useless, they literally had a hybrid sale. I always wanted a scroll napper and a dread strider, but I didn't think that I would get them in this way. I thought I would get them on an event that it would be special or a dragon palooza, but nope. You just, um, does just this. Now, now all the hybrids are here except the Gastly's Applejack. I guess they have to wait a bit because some people have actually worked on that <laughs> event. I didn't because of a glitch. There was a glitch that pretty much instantly gave you the dragon, but otherwise, yeah. Hybrids have lost their value. School of Dragons is a scammer. And um, yeah, I'm leaving on a very bad note right now. Yeah, I'm... I don't know. I'm just so disappointed with the game. So yeah, that would be it. I hope that this is useful. I mean, there's really nothing that much to talk about, but I managed to stretch this out somehow for 12 minutes. Of course I did. And um, that would be it. Bye.